Wow, my desk looks good. It's actually brown. It's looking red right now. But this is the Fitbit. Fitbit under 2 minutes and 30 seconds. This is your convenient guide. Uh, it's, it's a very useful device. It measures your heart rate, measures your calories burned, steps, distance, uh, distance uh, steps, stairs. Uh, useful charger. Very easy to put on, put on your laptop. It gives you your battery. You can the, the Fitbit app is very, very user-friendly among all the fitness devices that I've tested. I've tested Misfit. I've tested... Uh, the Fitbit, I've tested Shine, I've tested UP, uh, up Jawbone, that's about it. But all of those devices, the Fitbit app is the most user-friendly. It is the most accessible, the most easy to use. Uh, and that's, that's very, very convenient. I'm more used to the Android app because I used to have an Android before this, and that was much, much nicer. But, yeah, whatever. Uh, the Fitbit app, it lets you do GPS, if you're going off on a run, you can set it to play your music, you can set it to track your distance. It has a Fit Star, which you'll have to pay extra for. It's a personal trainer on your phone. It shows the Fitbit app, the Fitbits that you've connected to it. You can have your settings, you can set whatever heart rate zone, not heart rate zone. You can set what your goals are, your activity, exercise, nutrition, body, whatever calories you want to do. It can even give you a diet plan for the amount of calories you want to burn. You can input calories into it. Whatever you're eating, you can put into that which is fantastic if you're a numbers maniac like I used to be. And that's it for the app itself, other than well, obviously you can put in log your food. Uh, logging food is very easy with the scan barcode function, just because it'll just tell you how much you have and all you need to do is put in the amount of that particular food that you've had. You can add friends, you can compete with them. Fitbit, now I'm trying to figure out where, that, that's, the, that's the lineup, because my Fitbit Dot com wasn't working for some reason on my laptop. They have a fantastic lineup. They have the Blaze, they have the Fitbit 1, which is the original. They have Fitbit Charge 2. They've come out with 2 for the Flex and the Charge HR, which is fantastic. The Surge is great. Um, so, should you get one? The area is fantastic. Should you get one? Well, if you're looking for something that does it all, yes, Fitbit would be the choice for you because they look good. They have a very user-friendly app, as I've mentioned before, and they, they come with a lot of accessories. So if you want to replace your band, you can do that. If you want to have a good-looking watch on your wrist, you can do that. Fitbit, uh, you should do that if, if those are the things that you want. It's not waterproof, so whatever. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Take care.